Hi, Lon Brower here. I want to show you something that uh, I do pretty often. Let's do some razzle dazzle. There's a couple things that I like to do. Uh, sometimes they're, they can be uh, contrived, but sometimes they really kind of uh, can, can add a little bit of sparkle. I look at it, um, uh, for reference, I look at a lot of the illustrators of, that were, came out in the 60s and 70s, you know, uh, Mark English, uh, uh, Bernie Fuchs, and, and David Grove, and some of those guys, uh, even Marshall Arisman and, and, uh, and several others. So they, and, and you know, in, in an illustration, you, you're taking a painting, uh, uh, or a drawing and, and then you're adding special things, little things that make it uh, a little bit different. And, um, and sometimes, you know, and I, I found myself when I was doing plein air, uh, you know, I'm doing landscapes like everybody else. I'm thinking, how can I bring this into a, a different reality so it's not just that's there and, and I'm, I'm, I'm fabricating something that represents exactly what's there. I want to see if I can find a way to uh, break planes, you know, and that's kind of where this is coming from, these, these two, uh, uh, two tables by playing in a different perspective. Can you do that within uh, the context of, of, of um, some sort of reality? Um, so with that having been said, um, I started doing things like splatter, and I'll show you that in a minute. And the other thing, I'm working with the tuna can. Um, I use these tuna cans because they, um, you know, they're, they're a great size for holding medium, and uh, uh, they're easily accessible. Uh, if you have a cat, you know, cat food cans are about the same size. Uh, they fit in your hand really nicely. So, you know, if you want to use them as a, as a scratch tool, you can do that. What I started doing is um, I had a painting one time and everything was working out really nicely, but it was all weighted to the left. And I thought, what happens if I take a circle and put a circle in, you know, somewhere in here as a graphic, just as a graphic device. And I found that, it, you know, by if it was weighted to the left, put a circle down in the right-hand corner and visually it pulls it back over again. And so I've kind of, I've found myself doing this a lot just to, if it's something needs a little bit more sparkle, um, I can load one of these things up and, and just put a, Put a circle on there like that, and just gives it a. It's you know, it's subtle, but it's. Uh, I know something about the circles I really enjoy. I know some people make fun of me. Uh, in plein air, I'll put a bang, 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 some circles in there, and and uh, uh, I get chided for that. But uh, I still, I think, you know, that's just a kind of a cool thing to put in there. So, um, but you can use any shapes. I've one thing I haven't tried is. Um, something like a uh, cookie cutter. So then I could put little dinosaurs and Christmas trees and things like that. So yeah, I could do something like that. Now do I, you know, I put them in there and sometimes I don't leave them. Sometimes I'll come back in and, and uh, they'll actually get moved out. Um, I've got some smaller ones that I can use. It creates patterns. Uh, as long as they don't become distracting, uh, you know, uh, like I said, it's, it's my thing. Uh, you get something like this thing, you know, which I was calling a pumpkin. It happens to be the same size as this. You know, if I need a circle. If I'm doing a, um, if I'm doing a car, um, you know, headlights, it, you just bang, bang. Uh, sometimes I'll use, I've got a smaller one yet. Sometimes, you know, I can put eyeglasses on someone. So um, it's just kind of fun to have it as a, as a, as a tool. Uh, the other thing that I do is, and I'm going to do this right now, is pick up, uh, let's pick up this pink, which I've got some green into it, and this is really just juiced up, and I'll just put some spots on, which just, uh, you know, that, that's, you know, watercolors do it all the time with a, with a, um, with a toothbrush and sprinkle the little spots. It's, so it's a really a watercolorist kind of uh, um, technique. Uh, it just adds something extra to it, gives it more of that um, uh, immediacy, and um, there's, a, there's a, a certain organicness about it. So, All right, so that's my, my razzle-dazzle things. 